Are Christians in any way oppressed or persecuted? I've got friends and family that believe that Christianity is highly oppressed and persecuted all around the world but especially the United States. I believe it isn't. But what reasons do some Christians believe that this is not the case and that they are indeed a highly persecuted and oppressed group? There are AI places in the world where being a Christian absolutely sucks. There are places in the world where being Christian is dangerous. The United States is not one of those places. Not in the US, no. In Iran, Afghanistan, China, North Korea and other countries, absolutely yes. Edit yes I know about Egypt, Pakistan, and others too, and yes I have sources for the countries I mentioned including personal experience working with refugees, but I woke up to 50 notifications and counting so I won't get round to replying to all of them. Also check out Open Doors who extensively monitor Christian persecution globally, and hopefully some other Redditors will help answer your questions too. Outside of the West yeah, quite a lot even up to killings and church burnings aka Roman style. In United States. E, uh, I guess people say mean things about Christians. Sometimes. In the Western world? No. Lots of people dislike us, but that's hardly oppression. In the Eastern world? Yeah a shit ton. There is opposition of Christians in other countries mostly where Christianity is a minority religion. In the United States Christianity seems to enjoy favored status among religions and is nowhere close to being oppressed. People that believe that generally want Christianity to be the official state religion of the US and view anything short of that as oppression. For the past few centuries, Christianity has been assumed as the default in Western society. Our laws reflected the beliefs of Christianity, such as bans against homosexuality. Over the past few decades, our society has been shifting and going away from traditional Christian values. For a lot of Christians, no longer getting preferential treatment feels like oppression. Not in the US, but as an Assyrian I can assure you they are oppressed in the Middle East and elsewhere. Especially in the United States. Absolutely not LMAO, completely insane. In some parts of the world, yes. In the United States. No. Christians are oppressed in every country where the majority of the population is Muslim. Some worse than others it's been like that for many years. In the US it seems that Christians have special rights and are by no means oppressed. It happens in some countries, think about predominantly Muslim countries, or countries where freedom of speech and therefore religion is restricted. P.S. I'm an atheist myself. Globally? Absolutely. In the U.S.? Nope. In other countries yes but not in the U.S. or any other predominantly Christian nation. I mean the hateful turn towards hypocrisy exhibited by US American Christians over the past 50 years has definitely made Christians a laughing stock in most circles I have ever run in. Oppressed and persecuted? People have laughed at me and ridiculed me for my faith but no one has ever told me I wasn't allowed to practice it or tried to hurt me for practicing it. I think some people who have never experienced oppression or persecution confuse popularity or lack thereof with oppression and ridicule for persecution. Christians in the United States aren't oppressed or persecuted in the slightest, but they are the ones doing the oppressing and persecution. In America, well. Let me sum it up hard to be persecuted when you run the fucking show. Christian organizations have disproportionate power here, influencing politics at a level that's profane. Those damned gay conversion camps for teens? Christian-run, Christian-funded, Christian-staffed. So clearly the Christian way is oppressed a part of American culture swears up and down that this place is a Christian country it was never designed to be. At the global level, Christians face the same problems that any other faith group has when not the majority. Tell your friend to stop watching Fox News. In the US? Fuck no. Sometimes the accusations people make of others are actually them confessing to the same thing. Find this especially true with virulently religious people and politicians. They are certainly not in the US. 
that belief likely stems from how Christianity tends to idolize martyrdom. The people who claim Christians are oppressed and persecuted in this country are playing victim because playing victim works for them. They get attention, support, influence, sympathy, and even money for pretending to be victims. They claim they are victims when others reject their beliefs being forced on them. It's sick and totally UN Christian to lie like that, but there they are using victimhood and imaginary crimes to actually oppress and persecute non-Christians and others who reject their bullshit. When you've been placed in a position of unfair privilege for so long, a fair world feels like oppression to you. Being told you can't oppress other people isn't oppression. They are free to go to church and live how they want, they are just not being allowed to force everyone else to agree with them. Their argument is basically I'm being oppressed by not being able to impose my religion on everybody else, and exercise my religious right to own fully automatic machine guns. If you had a lot of power in society and then you don't have as much power, it is tempting to lash out and feel victimized. Saying you're oppressed because you're losing your privilege is not the correct use of the word oppression, but there we are. In the US, one reason that Christians feel persecuted is that they are losing privileges that they are long accustomed to. For instance, schools can have winter celebrations, not Christmas. Spring break, not Easter break. This is in keeping with the constitution prohibiting an establishment of religion. In other words, they are being treated the same as any other religion. They take this as persecution. In the US they try to shove their religion down everyone's throat, shove it in every aspect of everyone's lives, and when they get called out on it, they run and cry and scream persecution. In the United States definitely not. Christians hold the majority of power in government and have since basically forever. In the US? Absolutely not. Christians control every seat of power in the country. The idea that Christians are oppressed is a culture war argument to rile them up to vote for a party that otherwise offers nothing of value. United States no, can't be oppressed if you're the ruling class. What makes America great is anybody can practice any religion they want, just keep it to yourself. So no, telling a Christian to keep their silly bullshit to their self is not persecution. No, but they feel they are because, heaven forbid, somebody have a different opinion than they do. In other parts of the world. Yes. In the US, no. Christians are so in charge of things that presidents say, God bless the USA apt swear oaths on the Bible. Christians are running the show. Aren't Christians persecuting in the USA BC they want to control women's autonomy and LGBTQ stuff? Why are they saying they are being persecuted? I'm confused. Christians have received special treatment for centuries in the US. Now that the special treatment is going away, they think they are being oppressed. They lash out like the spoiled children they are at anyone or anything that doesn't coddle them. Not in the United States. The people who feel like they are being oppressed for being Christian in the US are Christian nationalists. Anything less than a right-wing Christian theocracy is oppression against Christians to them. I think lots of people confuse disagreement or indifference as oppressive behavior. In their teeny tiny little minds they are. See as the saying goes, when you are used to privilege, equality feels like oppression. Depends on the setting. I found that in college people seem to look down on people with religious views like they were stupid. You see that on Reddit here too. But I don't think that really counts as oppression. In the USA? No LMAO. This is just a new narrative being pushed onto the gullible Christian population to make them strive harder to keep believing in an ever-shrinking religion. Yes, in many places in the world Christians are a persecuted minority. No, your friend has never experienced persecution for their religious faith. 